Hey guys, what's going on? Got this question this morning, wanted to get that answered. But before we get started, uh, for those of you guys that had asked for the e-learnings uh, through Facebook Messenger, all of that went out to your emails this morning. I think there were 30 or 35 of you guys. Uh, go ahead and, and review that. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, the only thing I'll say is, is based on that information, just make sure that when you're studying the signals that you understand which signal system you're on. Um, so if you're, you're curious, uh, make sure you ask in the comments section over on YouTube or uh, through the extra board if Facebook page, anything like that. That way you're studying the right one because there's going to be three sets of, of different signals. There's going to be the NS signals, uh, which is everything southern. There's going to be the Conrail signals for the people in the north, and there's also going to be N and W signals, so north and western signals. Um, and they're all in the e-learnings, but they're all different modules, so you want to make sure you're studying the right ones. Um, all right, so this question here, I'm about to start my second interview for CSX. Is there any tips that you can give? Um, all class one railroads, the main things that they're looking at is going to be safety and how you'll handle the schedule. Those are the two most difficult things. Everything else about the interview is going to be like any other interview that you've ever done in your life. Um, you know, the big things here are going to be, you know, when is a time that you participated in anything safety related? If you have any OSHA experience, if you've ever created any safety policies at the last place that you worked, uh, anything like that is, is going to be super helpful. Uh, outside of that schedule. Um, it's kind of the elephant in the room all the time. It's, it's how will you handle the schedule? And if you have a family such as, you know, just a spouse or kids, uh, how will they adjust to you not being accessible all the time? Because the, the reality is during the first couple of years, you're, go you're going to have a, a schedule that's, that's not always ideal. Um, you know, you're going to miss some baseball games, you know, that kind of stuff. You never miss a mortgage payment, but you'll miss some baseball games. Um, but how will they handle that? Um, so that they want to know what your plan is for that. And if you don't have a plan, you should definitely make one. Um, other than that, I did get another portion, kind of a variation of this question, and it was about military experience. Uh, if you are, are active duty or, or previously military and you've been discharged, uh, does that help in the process in any way, uh, that kind of thing? Or, or CDL licenses, do they help in any way? Uh, your previous work experience is going to help um, – based on a couple of things. First off, with, with military, uh, you guys are going to be used to following a standard, a strict standard set of orders uh, and or rules that uh, you have to abide by, and that's that's kind of the the entire process. It's the FRA has this giant list, uh, and, and the railroad has a giant list of rules that have to be followed, and you have to be used to that. Uh, outside of that, you also... Um, are used to working shifts. Uh, so police officers, firefighters, um, any, anybody that's been a truck driver, uh, you're used to shift work, so it's going to be a little easier for you. Hopefully that helps. Uh, any other questions, comment below. I'll get to them as soon as I can. Take care, guys.